food is important to our body. One of the food group we eat are proteins. They give us intermediate source of energy, important for our growth and repair of worn out cells and tissues. Examples are found in egg, meat from fish and cattle, peanuts and legumes. They are food rich in proteins. Our topic will focus on how do we test the food if it contains proteins. Welcome to my learning journey with Teacher Jeffrey. Our topic for today is about tests for protein using Burex reagent. Come and dive in. These are the materials needed. Test tubes. Pirate reagent. Protein solution. Fresh milk. Apple juice. Coconut milk Distilled water Test tube rack And we also need syringe Here is our procedure. 1. Prepare a test tube. 2. Place 2 cubic centimeter of food sample into the test tube. 3. Add equal amount of beer agent. 4. Shake to mix. And 5. Observe for color change. Food containing protein will turn purple in beer agent. Let us use this table to check if food containing protein like protein solution to turn purple and for food without protein like distilled water reveals no observable change in burette solution. Let us start testing a food containing protein. We will use protein solution. Let us observe. Will it turn purple in Burette reagent? Yes, it did. It contains protein. Now, we will take a sample that does not contain protein like distilled water. Let us observe. It turns blue in burette reagent. It did not turn purple. So, there is no protein present in distilled water. Here is our observation and interpretation for food containing protein and food without protein in burette's reagent. Protein solution turned purple, thus protein is present while distilled water turns blue, thus protein is absent. Let us check our knowledge. Number 1. Name the reagents used to test the presence of protein in a food sample. Number 2. 
Write the observable color change in burette reagent when protein is present in a food sample. These are the answers for our quick check. For number one, it is burette reagent. The reagent we use to test for the presence of protein in food sample is burette reagent. For number two, it turns purple. If food contains protein, it will turn purple in burette reagent. Let us now proceed our experiment by testing these food samples. Fresh milk, apple juice, and coconut milk. We will use this table to write our observation and our interpretation. For our observation, we will write the color change, and for our interpretation, the presence or absence of protein in the food sample being tested. Fresh milk. We place 2 cubic centimeter of fresh milk into the test tube. Add burette reagent. Shake to mix. Observe for color change. Apple juice. Place 2 cubic centimeter of apple juice into a test tube. Add burette reagent. Shake to mix. Observe for color change. Coconut milk. Place 2 cubic centimeter of coconut milk into a test tube. Add burette reagent. Shake to mix. Observe for color change. Here is our observation and interpretation about the food sample tested in burette reagent for the presence of protein. Fresh milk turns purple, therefore protein is present. In apple juice, no observable color change, therefore protein is absent. For coconut milk, it turns purple, so protein is present. We will now have our quick check. Let us check our knowledge gain. Number one, which food samples contain proteins? Number two, which food sample does not contain protein? These are the answers for our quick check. Number one, Fresh milk and coconut milk turns purple in burette reagent. They contain protein. For number two, apple juice did not turn purple in burette reagent. It does not contain protein. For our takeaway for today, we learned that the burette reagent is used to test for the presence of protein in a food sample. We also learned that food containing protein turns purple in burette reagent. This is our topic for today. Test for protein using burette reagent.
don't forget to click like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for our upcoming videos. Please do not forget to share this video to your friends if it gives value to you. Always remember, a goal without a plan is just a wish. This is Teacher Jeffrey. Bye for now.